Hello everyone, this is CUX and welcome to episode 12 of my Zoo Tycoon Complete Collection Let's Play. Um, if you Well, if you'd seen the last episode, we'd added some manta rays to the zoo and uh, before that we'd added a sea lion tank and a sea lion show just to get a bit more income because we're a bit low on funds at the moment. Uh, I'm not too sure what I really want to do with the zoo in this episode. Um, I know we've been having a few complaints about animals not being able to find food and stuff. I don't know if I can really address that because the zookeepers, they, they, ch they have cost a ridiculous amount to be employed each month. We've got six of them at the moment. The zoo has no money so we've lost money again. This is really hard this. Because I can, I can keep hiring zookeepers, but we won't have enough money, that's the thing, and I need the zookeepers for the animals. There must be a way we can get money. It's the zookeepers, they're the one, ones taking up all the, all the uh, money that we're getting. About 800 per zookeeper, so, so that's a lot of money, that. I just don't understand it at all, this game. It's just it's stupid because we've got a big successful, well, it's pretty successful, this zoo, and we've got loads of guests coming in. I just don't understand. It's just... We seem to get, we get somewhere. Actually, I might just, I might just turn off the uh, f monthly funding. Yeah, we get to somewhere and um, with the money and then it just drops back down again. I have no idea, the only thing I can think of is the zookeepers. But we need more zookeepers in the zoo because animals are complaining now that we've not got enough food and the exhibits are messy. <coughs> so I'm not too sure what I'm going to be doing in this episode. <coughs> Oops, what was that? Oh, it's just the animal thing. Yeah, WASD doesn't work in this game. You just have to use the arrow keys, which is a bit stupid. Well, it is from 2001. And games from that, back then, didn't really use WASD. Um, yeah, it, this is episode 12 now, so we've actually been doing this thing for about two months, which is pretty good. I think this is the longest I've ever done a Let's Play series for. I've been thinking of moving on to something else, maybe, because it's getting a bit might get a bit boring me just playing this all the time. I've been thinking of playing Ark, doing Ark Survival Evolved because I've been playing that a lot recently and it's quite a good game, I quite enjoy it. Just that I'm not sure about pro what we better, we better do progress wise in each episode. We uh like oh line climbing rock anyway, uh, like with Ark Survival Evolved you spend a lot of time building stuff. I'm not sure if that'll be that'll be something that people will be want want to watch. Right, we're gonna cancel these dinosaurs. We don't need any. I'm gonna get rid of these. We don't really need them that much. Maybe you could have a little fountain there. Um, where are they? Here they are. Marine mania. That'll look quite nice. Yeah, I, I told the story of uh, the infamous story on the last episode about the dolphins who went into the wrong tank and they got eaten by sharks. It's still pretty hilarious. I shouldn't laugh. <laughs> but yeah, the AI of the animals in this game isn't that good. But uh, it's just, it's not really a selling point to it anyway, it's just a, it's not really the end, it doesn't really matter actually to be fair. So yeah, I've got another sea lion show starting. Cost five dollars fifty something, I don't, I'm not too well versed in American currency. Maybe we could up it a bit to ten dollars. Oh, 
Oh, but I thought it was frozen then. Guests seem to be pretty happy. Some of these fences are starting to wear down a bit. That's the problem. I can. How much do these guys cost? We've got seven maintenance workers. They're three hundred dollars a month. But the problem is, the we can't really afford any. We've already got seven of them. And it's, getting, it's because it's quite a big zoo. I should have started with a smaller one. Because it even says in the. Uh, I'm not sure if it's the guide or. It might have been me and the guide that Cybex published. They actually said that it's easier to start with a, a smaller zoo because it's easier to run. <laughs> yeah, I need to stop clicking WASD. Oh dear, we've we've not got a filter on the Manta A tank, have we? So they'll probably be getting sick in a minute. So I better place one. Where are they? Where are the, the filters? Well, they'll probably be on here, won't they? No, that's stupid. Oh, they're here. Yeah, they're really important filters to keeping for t uh, for keeping the tank clean. I've got one on the sea line tank as well. I don't. I've not got one on the show tank. I'm not sure if I should do that though. Yeah, the guests seem to enjoy it. There's a lot of clapping. Maybe up here we could have some food stands. Maybe a submarine shop. Not actual real, not real submarines. <laughs> Just sub submarine sandwiches. But yeah, things are coming along quite nicely. You might be interested to add some dinosaurs to the zoo, but that's the problem with dinosaurs. Things can become a lot more uh, difficult. Yeah, things become a lot more difficult because they need a lot of security measures put in place. I think the scientists are the most. I think the scientists have got the highest salary out of all the staff members, which is a thousand dollars a month. You've also got the di uh, the dinosaur recovery team, which is two thousand dollars a month, so it's quite expensive. So yeah, dinosaurs are definitely not a cheap option, but you can add. Prehistoric animals, though, that aren't dinosaurs like Macro Macrochenia, yeah, that's how you pronounce it, or a giant ground sloth. They might be a bit of good, they might be a good idea. Besides, not all dinosaurs are aggressive. So. Yeah, I'd add something else to the zoo, but we need to get more money in, and there must be a way to. There's definitely a graph thing that shows. Oops, shows the money coming in. We might have to sell some animals. Oh, I'll get rid of some of the enclosures. I don't know. These aren't very happy having a big exhibit, so I think I'll sell some of them. Feeling crowded. I might delete this fence section then. Oops. Oh, not fence section. That would be a stupid idea. I mean this um, path section here. No, I don't want to delete that. No. We're feeling crowded, that's the thing. I don't I don't know how you can really get around that because they don't like uh, any kind of what do you call them? Um shelters. Do 
<laughs> it's funny that. Um, see if there's any marine animals we could add. Cause to be quite fair, land animals and stuff are getting a bit boring. Um, oh, what's this? Is it bowhead or bowhead? I think it's bowhead whale. Yeah, these these are huge. Um, they aren't any, they're quite expensive as well. They aren't any, actually, there aren't any whales in the sequel to the game. So you're taking two, which I thought was a bit of a shame. Well, they are whales, but there's no big ones like this. What could we add here? Maybe some tur turtles. Turtles. No, they're expensive. Not as expensive as the whales, though. Maybe some octopuses. Oh, they're expensive. Sperm whales. Why <laughs> the dolphins? Why would you want ch tuna in a zoo? Let's have some sea turtles then. Let's make that path a bit wider. Oops. It's a bit too big, I think. What was that? I wished it had let you, because in the second game with these pop up things, you can see the history of them, and it, I, I just wish you could do that in this game because things pop up quite quickly. But yeah, we've got a little turtle tank here. Let's make it a bit smaller, see if there's any. There's, yeah, there's tank controls, isn't there? Oops. Which is ridiculously expensive. Oh, there's Santa with some reindeer. <laughs> oh, oh, it's December. Yeah, that's probably why. We're going to year four now, after this. So I've been running the zoo for four years, which isn't bad. Is that some turtles? What are these, like, foliage and rocks? Yeah, as I said, in I think it was in the last episode, marine animals are usually easier to look after because they don't really require that much in their exhibits. Just, just um, plants and stuff. No, I've never out of money. Um, this is going to be a bit hard. Well, it was Jan it's January now, so that's probably why. Yeah, I'm struggling with this. I'm, I'm probably going to move on to another game at some point, but this is getting a bit difficult. Because probably, it's probably my own fault for spending beyond my means, but... Hmm... It must be it's cat, it must be the zookeepers, they must be the ones taking up all the money. Oh jeez, all these ostriches. <laughs> I think I might sell some. Might be a good way to get a bit of cash. That's not much, but Oh jeez, these flamingos, they've been out like rabbits. There's only one hippo left, I think the other one... No, there's two. Yeah, there's, they're completely overrunning the exhibit. Well, they're not, they don't mind though, so I'll just lead them to it. The hippos haven't had any babies though. Well, of course they wouldn't, they're both female. I probably need to buy a male hippo at some point. Oh, one of the orangutans is ill. Well, the zookeeper's gonna go on heal it. But yeah, things are getting a bit chaotic in this zoo. Mm, I'm running out of money. The, some of the animals are breathing out of control. Uh, 
More foliage, right, what do they want? Let's get them the cheap stuff. <sighs> Haven't they got enough? Needs more foliage in its exhibit to keep it happy. Rocks. These are expensive. I'll better afford these. Yeah, the episode's probably gonna. I'm gonna pull in the episode soon. So we're starting to run over the time a bit. To be fair, we've not really been able to do much. We placed a few buildings down and stuff. And the sea, sea turtles, of course, but. Yeah, we're running on low on money a bit. My own fault, really. I should have looked what I was spending. So, yeah, let's place some rocks down, finish this exhibit off, and then I'll probably put an end to the episode. Do you like it? Yeah, that exhibit's fine for them. Let's see the rating. 95, that's not bad. Oh, one of the mountain lions is ill now. They're always get they're always getting ill, all these animals. Well anyway, I'm probably gonna put an end to the episode there. I hope I hope everyone's enjoyed it. Um I'll probably record something next week as well. Get something loaded next week. It'll probably be a different game because I'm getting a bit fed up of playing this to be perfectly honest. It certainly didn't help that I'm running out of money and stuff. So yeah, I hope everyone's enjoyed this and I'll see you all soon. See ya.